Now kiss your sister. Mackenzie was always the happy-go-lucky, kind of clumsy, always trying to make people laugh. She was, I would say, the, the class clown type personality. <laughs> Amelia was always the very lovable, snuggy type. Um, she had the best hugs, just would choke you, so firm. We got new balls! And then, pretty early on, we started having concerns about Amelia's behavior. We'd noticed things, she was getting closer to the TV and not really having eye contact that she used to. She started asking, you know, what colors things were. All these things in retrospect, you start to realize that there was something going on, but it wasn't until the vision that really we could put it all together. The autism diagnosis was terrible. The vision loss was worse. And looking back, I wish nothing more than for that to be it. So Mackenzie, who'd been our happy, typical child, just kind of along for the ride this whole time, because so much focus was on trying to get Amelia help, and it never crossed her mind that anything really was going on with Mackenzie until she started questioning colors and not being able to see. I mean, we knew in our heart she had it, but officially her diagnosis came um, the day after their birthday. On March 17th, we got the call that she, she had it as well. You cannot survive a Batten diagnosis. So when, when that diagnosis came into our ears, hope, hope went away. The first symptom to usually appear is vision loss. Shortly after that, in the next couple years, seizures, Dementia starts kicking in. They start getting disoriented. Chronic pain is a constant symptom. They just slowly start losing mobility and it's, it's awful. There are only two daughters, and we had to do something. And so it was kind of time to stand up and, and fight and make a difference. The mission for, for Batten Foundation is to fund critical research in hopes to find a cure one day, as well as supporting the Batten community. It's a long, long process, and there are a, a lot of tremendously talented and brilliant scientists and doctors and researchers out there um, working around the clock to figure this, this out. I think the other part of our foundation really is truly about awareness. If one person sees this and is able to get another child diagnosed earlier, get those answers, I think that's so incredibly important. We also have a For the Journey Fund with our foundation, and that is giving back to other Batten families because our time with all our children is so limited. We just have to make the best of it while they're here. Ultimately, I hope the future of the foundation is that we can close its doors because we've solved and cured the disease. That's quite honestly the, the long-term desire for the future of the foundation.